so we're breaking them in. Internship on COVID. Well, it's good, as I said, to be back to be back with you. We'll gather for worship. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Sing the first hymn listed there, Just As I Am. Thank <laughs> Son of David, my daughter is tormented by a demon. 
But he did not answer her at all. And his disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away, for she keeps shouting after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. He answered, It's not fair to take the children's food and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from their master's table. And Jesus answered her, Woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And her daughter was healed instantly. We sing the hymn, We Come to You for Healing. Then Jesus has this run-in with the Canaanite woman. 
Jesus has just accused the Pharisees of caring more about religious propriety than for those for whom they should be caring. And then he does the exact same thing. I was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, he says, and calls her essentially a dog. I've heard too many excuses made for Jesus when interpreting this text. If we need Jesus to be perfect, we tie ourselves in knots trying to explain his mean-spiritedness to this woman whose daughter is suffering. But I would rather Jesus be human. I would rather look at Jesus in the story and say, even the greatest spiritual teachers have off days. Even God messes up. At least mine does. I've had many days and even many years where God did not seem to answer me at all. Perhaps you know that too. This particular exchange for the woman and Jesus between the woman and Jesus feels somewhat all too familiar to me. The woman pleads, God ignores or rejects. So are we lost in despair? No, of course not. For I think the hope of this passage rests in the persistence of a woman. She is the hero here, if we are to use that language. She is the one to emulate. You see, if we try to figure God out, we will fail. Luther, reflecting upon God's silence, noted that sometimes in prayer, we shouldn't just knock on God's door, but we sometimes need to kick it down. Persistence in the face of God's silence is a spiritual virtue. Truth be told, we don't know what was going on in the mind of Jesus in this encounter. In my life of experience, I would say he was tired, irritable, and in no mood to be bothered. He was fed up with demanding people, dumb disciples, and idiot Pharisees. He didn't want one more thing on his plate. However, the woman persists. She reminds Jesus of just what it is he has come for, why he came. And her faith is precisely what he asks of us, what he wants to see. A faith that trusts God so deeply, it will not be silent, even in the face of what feels like rejection. This is the terrible truth of the story. We don't know why God feels so often silent in the face of our shouting. We shout nonetheless. We cry out, Jesus heals the woman's daughter. She is one of my heroes in Scripture. She shows us the way to Jesus and to God. May we always be so bold.
confident of God's care and help by the Holy Spirit, let us pray for the world and for all in any need. Lord, you gather us to be part of your mission as ambassadors of Christ. As Jesus acknowledged the great faith of a woman from outside of his people, help us discover and find blessing in the faith of people we sometimes reject. Lord, in your mercy, you have blessed us with the bounty of the earth. Grant your grace to all your creatures that the earth will flourish. Relieve waters choked by garbage, renew soils stripped of nutrients, and refresh the air all creatures need to live. Lord, in your mercy, you call the nations to be glad and sing for joy. Let your way be known among all the nations of the world, now divided by competing interests, contending alliances, and consumed by enormous worry. Bless us and make your face shine upon all. Lord, in your mercy. You show unexpected mercy and kindness and generosity. We pray for those who do not have enough, for outcasts in our own villages and cities and towns, for those who need your healing. May our hands be alive with your love and grace. May we reach out to those in need. Lord, in your mercy. Yeah. Your eternal promises are more than we could ever imagine. As you gather all the saints, join us also with them on the great day of your salvation. As we pray, as your Son taught us to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day of our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory. And now may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. We sing in Christ there is no peace or rest. <laughs> Take them with you.